In this video, we're going to go through transposing, which just means changing where you play something on the piano. We're going to use the folk song Bluebird Bluebird as an example here, but it can be any piece of music that you're able to play. So here's how the original goes and where it's written in the book Piano Safari. <laughs> That's just half of the song, we'll use that as our example. Now, we can pick any other key as our starting note and we can work out what the other one would be from there. So we were playing it in this spot, now I'm going to pick at random to have a new starting note under finger 2. So let's try it starting with finger 2 on E this time instead of D. So I've just gone up 1. I could also go to a black key, I can go anywhere I want to start. There's two ways to work out how to transpose it. We can either just play it and figure out if something sounds wrong, or we can work it out more mathematically, I guess. So we'll try it just the play and listen way first. So I would play two. So let's think about whether that sound is the same as before. Not quite, right? How can we make that sound the same? So, like I said, you can play and guess and try and find the right notes. Like that, and you might have to do a bit more trial and error. That's not right. And try some black keys. But the other way to do it is to figure out exactly what it would be when you change it. So most of the time I would try and do it by ear, just listening and figuring out when you're wrong and fixing it. And then if there's one that you're like, none of these sound right to me, I don't know what to do here, we're going to work out what it should be. So let's say that happened to us here, where we were doing... Sorry, it's on. We were in that spot, right? So let's say we're doing this part and we can't figure out how it should go. Well, if we go back to where we were, on first glance, that looks the same. But actually, one, two, three, there's a key in between these two notes, which is what makes it sound different. So we can count the gap between the notes if we include all white and black keys and then do the same gap when we move. So when we move to here, when we're doing this part, you'll see I actually don't have any keys in between here, which is why it sounds different. It's actually the same gap as, because there's one key in between. It doesn't matter whether it's white or black, there's one key in between. In between. As I say, you can do this mostly by ear, but then once you hit a roadblock, you can start to count the white and black keys and make sure it's the same number of keys of any color between your two notes and it should all match up. So you can do this with any piece of music, folk songs, pieces you've learned from reading, pieces you've learned by ear, pieces you've learned um, by rote or by teacher, your teacher showing it to you, anything you want. And you can try them in several spots and if you wanna really show off your skills, you can learn to play a piece in every spot on the piano and play it going up or going down or jumping around the place. 